You're probably an idiot. Now hold up. Before you start yelling at me in the comments, let me explain why and then how we can solve this. But first up, let's look at a graph. On the x-axis, we have competence. And on the y-axis, we have confidence. When you start something new, you're probably here. Overconfident with very little competence. But as you gradually do the work and you learn more, your confidence starts to fall because you realize how much is left to learn. Eventually, if you put in the work, you end up here as an expert, someone who has all the competence and all the confidence. The problem is 99% of people get stuck here because they don't understand this concept. This is called the Dunning-Kruger effect. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the cheat codes my mentors gave me that will speed up the time it takes you to gain competence and knowledge so you can end up on the right side of the graph. I learned them when I started to network with top entrepreneurs and business owners at the age of 18. They started to share with me the cheat codes that they used that allowed them to gain competence super quickly because they knew the quicker they gain competence, the quicker they could get the things they wanted in life. You see, using these cheat codes took me from being an overconfident teenager to now being someone who consistently hits and exceeds my personal targets and goals. Problem is, 99% of people quit because they don't actually understand this concept. And it's likely the reason why you won't get the things you want in life. And I'll be honest, it's not because you haven't tried. And just like a video game, once you know the cheat codes, you can progress through the levels so much faster. I'm sharing this with you today because I'm on a mission to help a thousand people become the best possible versions of themselves. You see, when I was 18 years old, I used to go to property networking events where I'd meet entrepreneurs, investors, and business owners. I'd often go as a, a wide-eyed young man and marvel at these people in their 40s and 50s with over 20 properties and their retirement pretty much sorted. But it was not until I met my first mentor where he gave me this super critical piece of advice. I then finally understood what it took to progress in life. I'll save that for later on in the video. The first piece of advice I got was from a 35 year old with 12 properties. I was actually shocked that someone that young could have that many assets. The piece of advice he gave me was to fail fast. What he meant by this was the quicker you fail in business, sales, even martial arts, the quicker you can learn and then improve. The caveat is most people don't like embracing failure because it hurts their ego and it doesn't feel nice. This is the first step you can use to speed up gaining competence. The quicker you are to fail, the quicker you are to learn the lessons. The second piece of advice I got was somewhat of an eye opener. I grew up playing sports and in sports there's only two outcomes, you either win or lose. And when you're young, it's incredibly hard to win in the workplace, financially, even in the dating world because you're going up against men who have so many more years experience than you. The second piece of advice I got was from a business owner in their 50s. He had successfully run a property law firm in London for the past 20 years. When I asked him at a networking event in Canary Wharf what it takes to run a business successfully, he said to me, it's not about winning, it's about learning because the quicker you learn, the longer you can stay in business. I had a bit of an uh, epiphany moment here. When you embrace losing, you embrace learning. And when you learn, you gain the skills and competence you need to grab opportunities by the scruff of their neck when they're presented to you. I mentioned earlier in the video that one of my first mentors gave me this super critical piece of advice. This piece of advice changed my outlook on life. It actually shaped me to become the man I am today. You see, my mentor, he used to be a former staff officer for NATO and a CCO for the European force. And as we were driving to one of the rental units that I was managing for him, it was there where he gave me this absolutely crucial piece of advice. Competence, it comes from battle scars. Everyone has pain thresholds. The higher your pain threshold is, the further along in life you'll progress. That's what blew my mind at the age of 18. I had to consistently expose myself to pain and failure in order to grow. You always have to search for a lack of comfort and pain to move along this axis. Whether that's failing repeatedly or putting your back against the ropes, so all you can do is, is learn. You see, all these hacks and these, these pieces of advice that I was given are great. However, if you can't do work consistently, you're never really going to get anywhere in life.